Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mars, and today we're going to be playing with this really cool Scizor Latios team that I found over on Twitter. Now, this team was actually built by a player named Tofu Heatran, uh, and they were able to get pretty high on the ladder as well last season. So, pretty interesting stuff. The Scizor is definitely what got my attention. Uh, it's definitely not a Pokemon that you see often in competitive, so it's really nice to see that they were able to get pretty high on the ladder. And as well as we do have Latias as well. Uh, the Mystical Fire is something that's uh, new in this gen. Uh, but I think previous gens, uh, Latias, the only way to have like a fire move was Hidden Power Fire. Now it does get Mystical Fire, something a little bit better. Uh, being able to attack the special uh, attack is really good. And as well, it's another good way to at least handle uh, Kartana. Because I do feel like this uh, Kartana could be pretty annoying for this team. So... Uh, yeah, so let's uh, get right into uh, playing the game. It's uh, a couple matches, actually. Going to rank. Now, I ended up uh, disconnecting <laughs> one of my first matches. So that's unfortunate. But let's go ahead and try to find another one. Hopefully, we don't disconnect this time. Now, the player did actually leave a uh, team report. So I'll definitely leave the link for them on the bottom of the description. And as well as their social medias as well. And if you guys as well do enjoy these type of videos, feel free to leave a, a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Alright, so we are finding something uh, pretty interesting. Uh, we have the Jinx, a Suicune, a Dotrio, the Garchomp, and Silvalli, and a Blissey. Okay. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff here that we see here. But I think uh, Tapu Fini is a pretty good Pokemon here to lead. Uh, I feel like my opponent doesn't really have too much options for that. Now, I do believe we could actually bring in uh, Scizor in this match, which is pretty cool. Now, let's see. I do want to bring in Latias here. Huh. Wait, so can we actually bring Scizor? I think we actually could bring Scizor. Or maybe we could maybe bring it next game. No, actually, no. Scizor's... This is fine. We'll, we'll, we're bringing Landris here as well. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is the potential Suicune uh, being maybe a little bit too bulky to kind of handle. But I think we should be fine. I did really want to bring Regieleki, but the fact that they do have uh, two ground immunities kind of makes me not want to bring it. Uh, if I were my opponent, I would definitely bring one of them. Uh, maybe not like Dugdrio, but you never actually know. Maybe they uh, have a game plan to bring Dugdrio. Alright, let's see what my opponent is leading here. Alright, well it is going to be the Jinx and the Suicune. Okay. Okay, it has Foresaw. Uh, didn't really knew it got that ability. <laughs> Alright, we do set up the Misty Surge here. And it is Pressure Suicune, so it's not... Um, inner focus. Alright, let's see here. I think I definitely want to try to get rid of the Suicune, so I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here. And maybe a Mystical Fire just to kind of lower the special attack. Actually, maybe a Mystical Fire on the Jinx is fine here. Yeah, let's go with this play. Yeah, Jinx is going to fake out. Looks like they're going to fake out the Latias. Not a big deal. Alright, we're going to get a Moonblast off. Do some decent damage on that Suicune. Put things to the Life Orb. And they are going to go for Snarl. Okay. Alright, so good, good play on their end. Being able to uh, reduce our special attack. And it is going to be the Leftovers as well. I'm kind of inclined just to go for the Moonblast here again. Kind of do the same play again. Just Mystical Fire and go for another Moonblast. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be a 3 hit KO, which is a little unfortunate, but that's alright. As it goes for Ice Beam. Alright, so it's a good thing that we went for um, Mystical Fire there. Alright, 
It doesn't activate our uh, berry, unfortunately. We do get the special attack drop as well on the Suicune. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be kind of like a slow few turns. Now, I kind of want to go into uh, Scizor here. Uh, switching out the Latios into Scizor. I think I might just do that if we expect like another Ice Beam coming. Alright, we're gonna Moonblast here again on the Suicune. Again, we, I think the biggest threat, or pretty like annoying Pokemon to go up against is the Suicune. But I definitely want to really focus on this Mon. There's the Ice Beam. Alright, can't get frozen because the Misty Surge. Moonblast, alright, nice. Some good damage, good damage. Let's go for Snarl again, okay. Yeah, so we're slowly, slowly chipping away on this uh, Suicune here. Maybe I could have probably led Regieleki here. I think that would have been a better play. I think maybe Latios and Latias and Regieleki might have been probably the better, uh, especially if maybe if they do switch in into their ground immunity, we could always just switch into Tapu Fini or Landorus. So let's see here in this next turn. I feel like we could maybe see uh, Jinx switching out here. Not sure to what though. So I think I'm just gonna double up on this slot. I'm gonna go for a bullet punch and a moonblast on the Jinx. Yeah, Jinx is gonna switch out. Let's see, we catch. We actually catch the Savali here. Now, I wonder what uh, typing this thing has. Some good damage. Alright, is it resisted? So I think it might be a poison. Alright. It is gonna go for the Scald, okay. Alright, let's see, what, what else could we do here in this situation? Uh, Savelli could definitely go for the multi-attack here. Uh, let me double check if it's actually the poison type. Yep, alright, it is gonna be the poison type. Alright, and our Misty Terrain is gonna end right now here too. It's been a, a few kind of slow turns, in my opinion. Let's see, I feel like we might see a skull coming onto this slot. Uh, hopefully, we don't get like a burn. A burn will definitely be really annoying. I'm gonna do the hard switch into Landers here. This is very risky because I could, de my opponent could definitely skull on this slot. Or, yeah, or go for a flamethrower as well, and like that kind of increases the chances of getting burned. But, and that's kind of like the last thing I don't want for my landers to get burned. Alright, it's gonna be Fire Fang, okay. Alright, and it does set up Tailwind, okay. Now, I, ki I kind of want to. See if Suicune might have Ice Beam, but I don't really think I need to. Let's see. I do want to switch into. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I think I really want to switch out Tapu Fini here into. Is Scissor the better option here? I mean, Scissor's not really that bad here. I'm actually gonna go to Heart's Scissor here, uh, expecting maybe my opponent go for uh, the multi attack on the type of Finny. And we're actually gonna go for a, a Dynamax and then go for a Max Airstream here now. Uh, my opponent could have Ice Beam, uh, but I do remember that it is at minus one and we are a Salt Vest, so we should be able to take the Ice Beam pretty well. Alright, so we are. We did Dynamax the Landorus. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a parting shot. Okay. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Maybe they would probably bring out Jinx, but I don't think they would bring Jinx here when I brought in the Scizor. All right, so looks like it's gonna be Garchomp. Okay. Yeah, we do see the Ice Beam here. Yeah, it's not doing a lot of damage, but we do freeze. Oh, but thankfully we on thaw. Okay. All right, we don't not got the Suicune. That's uh, a little unfortunate. I, w I wonder if maybe uh, bullet punch is enough here to knock out. Let's see here. What, could, what else could we do? Uh, do you really want to save my Scizor here? Tapu Fini is also really good here as well. I think I am going to bullet punch here on the Suicune. And let's go for a max airstream on the, on the Garchomp. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, Suicune does uh, switch out. Let's see where it goes to. In Sil Valley, okay, that's fine. A little bit more chip on the Sil Valley is never bad. Alright, they, they are going to Dynamax the Garchomp. Uh, pretty interesting to see what they're going to go for here. Maybe a Max Warman, but I feel like that would be a little bit too risky in my opinion. They do have the Tapu Fini. Uh, they actually do go for Warman. That's a little... It does do a lot. Maybe switching into Tapu Fini might have been pretty fine there. We're, it is life orb too, Garchomp. Okay. Oh man, we're actually not doing anything. No damage at all. <laughs> Alright, I do want to switch into Tapu Fini here. I also do want to go for a max Quake, but I feel like going for an Airstream is also fine here. On the Savali. Ideally, maybe my opponent goes for another Whirlwind onto the Landorus. Yeah, okay, they do go for a Whirlwind on the Landorus. Let's see if we take this. We actually don't take it. That's a little unfortunate. Losing Landris there kind of does stink a little bit. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I guess I could have switched top of Fanny last turn, but I feel like... I don't know. The Let's see. Yeah, we are going to go into Latios here. And let's see. Maybe we could uh, possibly take like a... Uh, hmm. Let's see what would be fine here. I feel like Ice Beam should probably knock out the Garchomp here. I'm gonna go for Icy Wind as well. Hopefully, maybe this Garchomp is kind of slow. I actually want to check to see how fast this Latias is. Oh, we should actually outspeed the the Garchomp actually. So yeah, we're gonna go for let's go for an Ice Beam and let's go for the Icy Wind. All right, no protects at all. Okay, is really good to see. We crit the Savali, which is interesting. <laughs> Let's see, we do outspeed, which is nice. They're gonna knock out the Garchomp. Maybe we didn't really need to go for Ice Beam there, but uh, just because of how much Icy Wind actually did. <laughs> Let's see where my opponent goes for here. Yeah, now they actually do go for the multi attack now. Okay.
All right, so this is looking like kind of like a close game here, but the thing is that a lot of my opponents like team they're all pretty weak now. This is actually a really long game too. Now let's see what could we go here. I feel like the best play here to do is just go for a bullet punch and also just go for the side shock onto the Savali. All right, they do fake out the scissor, which is completely fine. Oh, we did go for the side shock here anyways. That's why I did the double up, just because of the potential fake out. And now here we can just go for a bullet punch on the Jinx and go for a side shock on the Suicune and it should be game. That yeah, was a pretty close one, I would say. I think I definitely misplayed when I should have. I probably should have switched in um, top of Finny there on when my opponent first Dynamax. Oh, uh, because uh, Landers took. I feel like Landers took a little bit of unnecessary damage there. Uh, but I thought maybe my opponent would maybe read into that and go for a Max Quake or something on the Scizor. I think I did have the Scizor at that point. Oh, they have ally switch. Okay. Uh, maybe. Hopefully, bullet punch is enough to KO here. It actually is. Nice. Was that a crit? No crits. Nice. Let's go. It was a resisted hit too, which was interesting. And we are gonna hit the sh side shock here. Oh, I think that was a crit. Okay, no crit. Uh, it actually did so much damage, to be honest. We'll go Mystical Fire here, and yeah. GG's to my opponent, they were playing pretty well. Uh, definitely Suicune was a pretty big annoying um, Pokemon to deal with. I think if I, if I would play this a little bit differently, I would definitely lead Regieleki and Latias again. And maybe I would probably leave uh, Scizor in the back. Like, Scizor was pretty fine here, but honestly, I feel like I kind of just brought it just to kind of bring it, to be honest. Uh, definitely the better thing is to maybe leave Scizor in the back and uh, lead with Regieleki there. Just because, again, the the Suicune was really kind of annoying Pokemon to deal with. Alright, we already found our next opponent. Really cool. Alright, let's see. Oh, they have a Raichu, a Gyarados, a Confei. Okay. A uh, Galarian Moltres, a Kartana, and an Entei. Okay. Well, I kind of re actually really want to lead with... Hmm, what do I want to lead with here? Tapu Fini is not bad. Uh, so is Latias is pretty good here. Uh, I think the main priority I want to do is definitely try to get rid of that Raichu. Because once we get rid of the Raichu, I feel like uh, Regieleki kind of goes in. Let's see. I am going to go for... And I think I want, I probably want Landris in the back. Landris is pretty good here. I mean, we can't really intimidate the, the Entei because of uh, Inner Focus. Or maybe it's not Inner Focus, uh, but it could definitely intimidate like the Cortana and the Gyarados as well. But we definitely do need to bring the Latias here because uh, the team is kind of weak to Cortana, I feel like. So having the Mystical Fire option is really nice. Yeah, so I think I am going to bring Landers here. Alright, let's see what my opponent leads here. <clears throat> Alright, well it is going to be the Kartana and the Confei. Okay. Alright, so that's a pretty good lead uh, from my opponent. Not really what I expected, to be honest. I kind of expected maybe Confei and uh, Moltres, uh, but that's completely fine. I think what I'll definitely do here is go for a Mystical Fire, switch out Tapu Fini into Landorus, get a nice Intimidate off. Unless it's Weakness Policy uh, Kartana, but I don't think Confei has anything for that. Alright, we did switch out, so. Maybe my I don't think my opponent switched out unless 
maybe Confei is a little bit lower. Oh, it's... Okay, uh, it's not the Tri-Age, right? Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me, I guess. I guess the Leaf Blade should do a lot then. Yeah, that's a lot of big damage there. That's Life Orb, okay. Well, they did Ally Switch turn one, which is uh, definitely pretty, pretty annoying. I would say so myself. Uh, but I think I just want to... Honestly, just go for uh, Earthquake. And go for Icy Wind here. I don't really need to predict anything here. Right, they are going to send out uh, Moltres, which is fine. They are going to detect, so the Earthquake is not going to do anything here, unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, we missed the Moltres, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish we would have hit that. Uh, now, I do feel like my opponent might be the weakness policy set. So going for a Mystical Fire here is not bad. I also do want to go for a U-turn. I think I'm going to go for a U-turn onto the... Let's go into the Cartana. I think we do need a, at least a little bit of damage. Cartana is definitely going to switch out here, yeah. So anything that comes in is like nice extra chip damage. Alright, so my opponent is going to Dynamax the Moltres, looks like here. Alright, so we do connect a lot of Mystical Fire. Not a lot of damage, but we are going to reduce the special attack, which is nice. They do go for Airstream, let's see what they target. Probably the Landorus. Yep. Oh, Landers actually survives. That's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> the, I guess the extra special attack came in clutch. Or the minus attack came in clutch here. So I think here... I'm not sure if maybe my, oppo my opponent brought Raichu or not. I feel like they maybe did. But I really want to go into top with Finny here, though. Alright, let's see. What could we really expect? I really feel like maybe Raichu is in the back, but I'm not sure. I think what I really want to do, though, is go for a Helping Hand Starfall. Onto the... The Moltres here. And, may, and hopefully maybe it pick up, picks up the KO. It is Life Orb. Um, helping Hand boosted. So maybe it does pick it out. Uh, maybe not. My opponent could also uh, ally switch here. If they ally switch, that's still fine with me. Oh, they actually are going to go for the Helping Hand. Okay. Well, uh, me too. <laughs> They're gonna f go for darkness. I guess just to try to get the get the KO here on the Latias. All right, thank you, Latias. Did your job. Let's see if we are able to knock out the Moltres. It'd be really nice if we do. Nice, nice. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. So that little mate, maybe it, maybe the little extra chip damage has kind of maybe helped us out here. Uh, so right now, I definitely want to go Reggie Lucky here. In case they, my opponent does bring the Cartana. Yeah, there's the Cartana. Okay. I definitely want to Electro Web here. My opponent could definitely go for. They could definitely go for um, an ally switch here. But 
But I think I do, I always want to star follow the the Confei. So hopefully we connect the. What I'm really scared of is uh, like a helping hand leaf blade. Okay, my opponent actually just goes for the detect. Really nice. That is uh, completely fine with me. We do hit the Confei, which is nice. Now we should outspeed it. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's see what my opponent has here left. Okay, so it is the right shoe. So that's definitely something I was a little bit worried about. Hmm, I don't really want to switch into, let's see, what could we actually do here? I'm like really tempted to not protect Reggie Lucky here. And go for like a max hail or something. Or actually not max hail, maybe a max geyser would be fine. Uh, maybe max hail is better here. Yeah, let's go for it. Or maybe max geyser would have probably get the KO. Alright, let's see. Maybe, hopefully leaf blade is not enough to knock us out. Yeah, I didn't think so, which is really nice. All right, well, we did knock out the, the Kuratana here. Now, all I'm worried about is... Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of worried about maybe if the Raichu doesn't have Protect or anything. Or any move that could potentially hit uh, Landers or something. I really hope that not... Landers is at 4 HP too. That's kind of like the only reason I really didn't want to um, set up their hail. Uh, but I feel like it would be nice just to break a potential Sash. I am going to uh, protect here with Reggie Lucky here. Or is it? I mean, I don't really need the, to protect here, I guess. Or do I? I guess I could just protect. I, I don't. I don't really think it matters. Maybe too much. I just really have to hope that the Raichu doesn't have. Uh, oh, my! Looks like my opponent is actually gonna forfeit. Nice, nice. So maybe my opponent actually doesn't have anything to uh, hit the Landorus then, which is kind of a, uh, you know, pretty fortunate for us to be honest. Uh, I mean, most Raichus don't normally carry something to hit like ground types. Uh, if they do, I think it'd be maybe like a Grass Knot or something, but I, I really don't think you'll see a Grass Knot on a Raichu. Alright, so we're going to play one more with the team, just to showcase it just a little bit more. That was actually a pretty rough one right there, too. We're having some pretty rough games, I, I, I feel like. Yeah, so we were pretty unfortunate there. I, I like My plan was to just safely get in uh, Landorus as a free switch-in. And then I can just Earthquake and uh, win the game like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's see what my opponent. It looks like they're running a Sand Team. A pretty standard, I would say. Uh, there is a rental code of that team as well, if you guys do want me to showcase that. It's, I feel like it's like kind of like the new Sun in a way. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Well, I feel like actually... Uh, Latias is really good here. Landers is also very nice here, too. But I think I'm going to bring Landers here. Uh, Tapu Fini is also a really good pick here. Is it a good pick? I feel like it should be a pretty good pick here. I uh, I do like Urshifu here as well. Just to, like, so I can maybe like close combat or something. Uh, close combat one shot the P2. Uh, most are not really EV to live, but there are some that could uh, live. Let's see here. 
I kind of do want to bring the scissor. Like the scissor here would be really good too. I think let's just bring Epiphany and let's just bring Urshifu. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Like we could we could have maybe brought the the scissor, but I was kind of just worried about like a random fire punch from Rhyperior or just a Torko, because we could definitely expect to see my opponent bring Torko in this matchup. But the good thing about Scizor is that it does resist a, a lot of the moves on of uh, Venusaur, which is pretty nice. All right, so it looks like my opponent led Regieleki and uh, P2. Okay, which is fine with me. Let's see, what could we expect here? I feel like uh, a Volt Switch or a Hard Switch is definitely going to come out here. Uh, but I think it's pretty safe to go for a Mystical Fire here on the P2. And we go for an Earthquake. If my opponent brings in like something like Rhyperior, then it's just going to take a lot of damage. Oh, they actually just up to go for Thunderbolt. Okay. All right. I guess maybe a smart play for my opponent. Maybe just just to get rid of, I guess the the Rhyperior here. I mean the Regilecki. I guess it's not gonna, really gonna do so much, but uh, we do have the Tapu Fini in the back, so though that's one less threat for Tapu Fini. Yeah, as it does go for Trick Room here. Okay. Uh, as they bring out Torkoal. Um, okay, that's fine with me. Not really a big deal in my opinion. What I could do is actually go for a... Uh, <laughs> I could actually go for a... An Earthquake and a Mystical Fire and a Torkoal. Just to, you know, reduce the damage. So it doesn't do too much. I think Landers kind of almost did its job here. Maybe like Eruption, Ice Beam is probably enough to knock out. But let's see what my opponent does here. Yep, there's the Eruption. Okay. Yeah, Landers does survive. Alright. Alright, it does go for the Ice Beam, but who's he target? It does target the Landris. Landris does not survive, unfortunately. Alright, not a lot of damage on the Torkoal, but we do um, reduce it, though. Special attack here. Now, I actually really do want to go top of Finny here. I guess maybe I could have switched Tapu Fini in uh, and saved Landers for later, but I really did want to. I didn't really want Tapu Fini to take so much damage either. Uh, I think I want a Mystical Fire here, and I want to go for Muddy Water as well. I would definitely like to catch the Venusaur switch in on the Torpo slot, but I don't really think my opponent would do that switch though. But I'm gonna just do that just to cover it. I'm not really worried about... Okay, we are going to see the switch out. I'm not really worried about uh, P2 so much. Oh, it's actually Rhyperior, so no Venusaur, which is fine with me. They do go for the Ice Beam. Doesn't do too much. They can freeze us because we are in Sun. Let's see how much this Muddy Water is doing. Oh my god, it does so much damage to Rhyperior. All right, let's see with Mystical Fire. Oh, if we get the knockout here, that'd be so awesome. All right, we actually don't, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see how many turns of Trick Room do we have. We only have two more turns. Okay. But 
let's see. Well, we could definitely assume my opponent is going to go for... Uh... Would he Dynamax here? I don't think my opponent would Dynamax here. If they Dynamax right period here, that's actually kind of crazy. Hmm. Kind of tempting to just going for a, a helping hand. Um, Max Hale on the P2, I guess. Maybe I could have gone for the Rhyperior, but I feel like if we set up the Hail, we'll 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 get the knockout on the on the Tor on the Torco on the Rhyperior with Hail Chip damage. The most that my opponent could do here is just go for a rock fall. They do go for rock fall. They actually missed the top of Finny, which is actually kind of huge. Alright, P2 does go for Thunderbolt. Not doing a lot because it is at minus one as well. Let's see how much this is doing to the P2. We actually knock out the P2. That's that's crazy. I mean, I, I guess we did helping hand, but like, geez, like P2 is so bulky. Oh, Rhyperia actually hangs on. Okay, that's kind of a uh, manga s right there. I was I was actually really hoping that Hail was gonna knock it out. Uh, we do have the Urshifu here in the back. Fortunately, it's not the Focus Ash variant. It is the Choice Spec, the Choice Band. I mean, honestly, like the like realistically, like the only play I could actually do here that makes more sense is just go for. Um, I really don't want to lock in to Sucker Punch, but I don't want Tapu Fini to take unnecessary damage either. And I want to go for a Max Geyser. Again, my Pyrrhier, they they could protect here, uh, but it's not a really big deal for me here. Now I'm I am curious if maybe my opponent is running um, Solar Beam. Oh wow, they actually Dynamax Rhyperior on one HP. Uh, <laughs> okay, but they attack. <laughs> All right, um, I, I promise this is not paid actors, guys. I did not, uh, yeah, <laughs> not sure why they did that. Uh, Dynamaxing the Torkoal made a lot more sense there, to be honest, because you can just go for like a max quake or something onto the top of Finny if you have earth power. Wow, and Max Geyser just knocks out in Sun. That's crazy. Tapu Fini actually is really clutch. Oh, it was a crit. Maybe it mattered. Not sure, though. Oh, well, it definitely does not matter because uh, I think Trick Room ended on this turn anyways. All right, so, yeah. GG's to uh, my opponents for today. Um, I feel like I could have played a little bit better at my first match. I feel like switching in Tapu Fini there was pretty... I don't know, like... I feel like it was a little too obvious uh, to make that switch in, but I feel like maybe my opponent was not going to do that play, just go for a whirlwind, but maybe in hindsight, I guess it probably would have been better. And like, uh, like the guard chomp really doesn't have anything else that could hit the landers for super effectively or pretty hard for stab besides uh, max whirlwind. So maybe switching in to Tapu Fini was probably the better play there. And then I, uh, yeah, and I guess I could have also just gone for helping hand like er like earthquakes or something too so that was like my little small misplay there um that last match i really don't understand why my opponent dynamaxed the rhyperior there i think it would have made more sense if maybe they dynamaxed last turn uh before that but yeah i don't know uh pretty interesting i feel like sucker punch made sense there because even if my opponent protects and like max guards there like i could just go for um max geyser the next turn onto the right period since i do believe that was the last turn of uh trick room as well 
So I think that's where I'm going to end the video for today, guys. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to uh, like the video if you guys did enjoy. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Uh, one more time, I am going to show you guys the rental code uh, right over here. Yeah, again, pretty fun team. Uh, I can kind of definitely see why they got pretty high in the ladder. Uh, definitely what really surprised me the most is the life orb type of Finny. I feel like maybe that's something we might start seeing later on in the series. Uh, just because, like, if you really think about it with, like, Tapu Fini, uh, Primarina kind of played the same role as Tapu Fini. Obviously, Tapu Fini is a lot better, um, all around, uh, but, yeah, with, like, Primarina, like, essentially, you would run the same, I feel like the same moves. It was either, like, Hydro Cannon, Moonblast, and Blizzard, uh, since you can just set up the, the Hail, uh, with, uh, Max Hailstorm, and then you can just throw off Blizzards like that. Uh, but yeah, that I I do really enjoy Tapu Fini, but yeah, it really does remind me as like Life Orb Primarina, and I'm actually a really big fan of uh, Life Orb Primarina. It was like probably one of my favorite uh, mons to use like in the when it was legal. Like it was so, it's just it was just so strong. So like playing Tapu Fini here, Life Orb definitely gave me those uh, Primarina vibes like back in like Series Five and Series um Six as well. And series three or four, I'm pretty sure it was like Lebo at that time now. Uh, so yeah, the scissor. I I really wish I kind of uh, did a little bit more, but it, I I do believe it did do its job. Uh, there I there is another rental code by the way uh, with scissor, but I think I believe they're running sword stance instead of iron head. So I'll probably leave that as well in the description if you guys do want to try out uh, sword stance with like bullet punch. You know, um, the Latias is definitely another good Pokemon. I um. I really did enjoy using to be honest like the helping hand came in clutch the mystical fire like reducing the special attack came in really clutch too uh being able to pressure the cartana too is really nice there the, the side shock is really good damage pretty consistent damage especially now that we have starting to see a lot of naya lego and for naya lego the on the special side it's actually pretty bulky but on the defensive side it's not so with side shock you're going to be doing a lot more damage if not maybe okoing the naya lego uh the urshifu uh honestly i'm not really a big fan of choice ban uh, i like urshifu choice ban but i i don't know really about this team i think maybe running it focus Ash on this team would be better on urshifu and then maybe running like choice specs or magnet on regia lucky if like like protect is still a pretty good uh, move but i feel like maybe running like specs or uh magic or no, magic uh, magnet is a lot better to be honest all right well guys thank you so much guys for watching if you guys did enjoy uh and i'll see you guys in the next uh video peace